Hi everyone. I just logged into my test environment and I'm, I'm trying to connect to the storefront URL and it throws this error message. It says cannot complete your request. Okay, so I'm just trying to click again. It, it still throws the same error message. Uh, the very first thing what you can do is when you get this error message, you can check the services straight away. Okay. Okay, when you go to services, you see a list of services. Okay, so these are all the services here. If you scroll down, uh, you see Citrix telemetry service, Citrix subscription service, Citrix default domain service, Citrix credential wallet service, Citrix configuration replication service, Citrix peer resolution. Everything seems to be in static state. Okay, everything seems to be in started state. So we should not get this error message for some strange reason we are getting this error message. Uh, let's close this browser. Okay, let's try to connect once again and see how it goes. Okay, we keep getting the same message. Okay, here it looks fine. Let me close this. Uh, let me refresh and see how it goes. Okay, let me try using a different browser and see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna restore. Okay, let me try to connect to the storefront URL using a different browser. Okay, it is working here, but for some strange reason, it is not opening on Internet Explorer. So let me, okay. Okay, let me log in here and see how it goes. All right, I could see the applications as well. But here, if you see on Internet Explorer browser, it still says cannot complete your request. Strange, right? Okay, let me do one thing. Let me try to close it. Let me try to reopen. Okay, it's working now. Let me try to log in. All right, uh, this time I could log in successfully. So what could be the reason for this problem? It, it simply says, it was simply saying cannot complete your request. So when you come across these kind of issues, you can straight away check the storefront services first. And uh, sometimes it could be an issue with the browser as well. Okay, so if you, uh, if you come across this issue in Citrix environment, you can simply ask the user to check it on a different browser. Okay, if it is working on a different browser, then it means that uh, it is not a server side issue. It is mostly an issue from the end user side. You can tell the user to restart the machine, restart the browser and test once again. You can also try uh, asking the user to reset the browser as well. Okay, so these are some things that you can check when you come at this, this kind of issue. So I thought this is a server side issue, but it is a general client side issue. So I had to just restart the browser to make it work. Okay, so sometimes the simple troubleshooting steps could work. You need not check from the server side as well. If you are 100% sure that everything is working at the client side, then you can fix it straight away. All right, I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.